Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you how to improve your design portfolio with animations, modern visuals, and responsive elements. Before I start, just a quick reminder, I share everything about UX from portfolio reviews, design quiz to career growth tips on my YouTube channel. So if you are interested on this type of content, please feel free to hit the subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. Before I start, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Wix Studio. So Wix Studio is a flexible end-to-end -end platform for designers, agencies, freelancers. Its responsive editor has game-changing design tools like responsive AI, open platform capabilities, and one workspace to manage your size, assets, and team. For UX designers, it really can empower you to efficiently create exceptional websites that help you really stand out. So let's dive into it. So what I wanna do today is to share with you, walk you through how can we rebuild a website, an existing portfolio in Wix Studio in very simple steps. What you're looking at is my current portfolio, definitely due for update. You know, I it did not get to include much like interactions or animations into the design. It was pretty basic. I wanted to share with you today how might we rebuild this website in Wix Studio and to elevate the whole experience of this portfolio website. Okay, so now we are in the dashboard of Wix Studio and you will see there are a bunch of tutorials here that really goes into detail to help you learn the tool. And there are some cool uh, sandboxes here um, specifically on how to like, for example, add a scroll animations or try the section grade and some advanced features. Towards the bottom, you will see some examples. Those websites are actually made with Wix Studio. So let's start by click this create new site. So here, as you see, we can choose how to design your studio site. And from here, I'm going to choose start with a template. Okay, now we're looking at some really cool templates with Wix Studio. And another tab here, if you prefer uh, a cleaner start to apply your own visual, it also have wireframe templates here. So feel free to take a look. And for my case, I think all I'm looking for is a simple modern minimalism design to elevate my current UX design portfolio. I'm kind of liking this one. So let's take a look. Beacon. Okay, it has a very cool, prominent image to start. Ooh, and I love this animation. And it goes into projects, which is perfect. So I think this template fits well with my purpose to build a uh, UX portfolio to showcase my project. I'm just going to go ahead and click Edit Template. Okay, so we are now in the editing view. What you're looking at in the center page is basically the space we can edit uh, based on the template we selected. And on the right, you can tap this arrow to open the panel. So when you select, have any element selected, it has more details on the right hand where you can add it from sizing, position, design, um, and cursor scroll effect. And when you switch the tab on the right next to this little brush, that is where basically you can set up different interactions. So to start with, I think for my case, all I'm looking for is a portfolio web. So for the header, I'm gonna go ahead, change it to my name. Don't think I need a center header. I'll keep the three dot burger menu. Um, big. So then the logo don't really need it. So if you don't need any element, you can just click delete. Um, and here it's like a video section. Right now, I don't really have any like a huge hero image in my existing website rather than the actual like cover image for each project. So for now, I'm just going to delete this section. So the next section is what I really like is that, you know, the scroll um, animation that we were looking at. So for here, I'm going to change my content to match what I had in my portfolio. Okay. 
So now as we scroll to the next area, you will see there are some little thumbnails of different image. And here you can choose your own image to replace the existing ones. For now, I'm just gonna select some stock image to replace it, but feel free to use your own image uh, to, for this area, but feel free to choose your own image. So next area is our projects. So for this case, uh, I'm gonna update just to say projects. And for this area, as you see that when we tap on here, right now it's like a square uh, grid layout. And you can easily switch different layout and try things out. Okay, when you select this grid area and tap on layout, it will show you a whole bunch of options. So say for example, instead of the square grid looking, um, kind of like the second, let's try it. Misery. Okay, so for now I'm gonna keep stick with the grid layout and update the image with my own project. So here you can tap on manage projects. So now you will see this overlay that where you can manage your projects or collections. So here there are some like default projects currently showed. So um, where you can change the actual details. So once you open it, you will see, okay, those are the actual uh, placeholders currently we have. Let's delete those like default stock image. You can tap here to create a new project. So my first project will be, let's see, I have circle. And the project description I had on my site is just a... Uh, Smart parental control. Okay, here you can totally add more details like project type, date, location, but I'm gonna skip it for now. And now you can start by upload media from the computer. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, on my landing page, select circle. There you go. So now I have my cover image. Obviously, you can upload more image to your project page, but I'm just going to keep it for now. We're just focusing on making the landing page. Uh, once you have all the projects in place, in this view, you can just by tag and move around to arrange the sequence. So for example, in my case, I want to show circle first, then followed by armor. And you can just really drag and drop in this view to arrange the sequence of how you want to show the project. Okay, so once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on um, save. And close. So here, back in this view, you can tap on choose collections and switch from featured to projects, which is what I just uh, updated with my own projects. So there you go. It's automatically change the grid view to show the projects that I just uploaded to reflect my portfolio. As you see that it's um, the grid view with the square container seems not working very well in this view because it's like my, I think most of my cover image is actually in a landscape. So it's cutting off a lot of content so um, in this case, I'm going to try and see some other layout and see maybe some other option might make it um, work better. Okay, so I actually like this view. Um, you know, it's kind of has a good balance of the visual interest and still maintain the simplicity and cleanness of this layout. There we go. We have our project sections all set up. And towards the bottom, okay, this is like a contact me type of uh, footer. So here I'm going to just make some quick adjustment of the template. And um, this headline, what do I want to say? Um, this is where, you know, this kind of like, you can add it a text obviously with what you have in your mind, but if you are not sure, there is this create AI text tool, which is so handy. 
So I'm gonna just put UX design as my business type and I'm not looking for paragraph but more of a title and click on create text. There you go. Designing intuitive user experiences, transforming ideas into easy to use designs, user-centered design for modern brand. I love it. Um, so I'm just gonna use the first one. So you can either just click on use text where you see the text is automatically updated or you can do copy paste as you wish. And also here, the upper area where there's a headline seeking what's next uh, in the template, I think I'm gonna go ahead and update this as well. And let's see what headline it might be able to help me generate. Uh, what I wanna say is really something about user-centered design. So I'm gonna put this and create text. Designing for humans, putting you first. I love it. So I'm gonna use this text. Now it's a little bit too, I think mine is too long, the tagline. So I'm gonna try to just make the uh, text smaller. So right now the theme is heading two, but you can actually change the font size right here. I'm gonna try 64 and see how it works. Okay, it looks like, looks about right. So just nicely fit into that one line. Oh, so now I think we have our um, landing page first round done and let's go ahead and take a look how it works. So I'm going to tap on publish um, just to make a temporary name and save. And I'm going to tap on view site so we can all take a look. Now we're looking at the landing page we just created. So it has a very clean look with a very simple and bold heading. And as you scroll, this animation comes in place with the image I selected, which I think works really well and seamless. And continue as you scroll, this goes into the projects we added a few minutes ago. And I really like this look, uh, has a staggered grade and also it works perfect with my cover image that are mostly landscape. And as you notice, um, when I hover over one project, it will actually has the gradient indicating you can click to learn more about this project. And towards the bottom, it has a bottom footer section that we've created with this new headline, Designing for Humans, Put You First. So there we go. This is the landing page we created within just a few minutes. I think it has a really significant improvement comparing to what I had in my old website. You know, um, especially with the animation comes into place, it feels a lot more modern. And um, with the bold visual, the font, and also the animation as you scroll, those like micro interactions with different sections that feels more connected together. Um, so. I'm loving it. Please feel free to comment and let me know what you think about it. Okay, this is all we have for today. So I hope you find this content helpful. And if you are interested, please feel free to take a look at the Wix Studio website and explore on your own. And if you have any comment or thoughts, please feel free to share with me. And I would always love to hear from you. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.